you talked to Khloe Kardashian and you said, I'm pronouncing her name. We've all been pronouncing her name wrong yes, this whole time. It's Chloe. Chloe is the name. There's a little accent over the name. Wait, what? Wait, wait, I'm so sorry. No, no, I'm yes. sorry. No, 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 no. Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, but yeah, I'm call sorry her. too, but call her. I will call See, her. Chloe. I walked in, I go, Chloe, and the other women go, excuse me? And Chris said, yeah, that's actually really how it's pronounced. Yeah, according to Andy Cohen, we've all been pronouncing Chloe, or should we say Chloe Kardashian's name wrong all these years. Isn't that crazy? But have we really? Let's rewind the tapes. I'm Chloe. Yeah, Chloe introduced herself to us all those years ago on the Keeping Up with the Kardashians series premiere as Chloe. I'm Chloe. Chloe? I got the memo. Chloe. Yes. So, to quote Oprah, What is the truth? We might find out on Andy Cohen's new show, For Real, the story of reality TV. What is Andy Cohen doing here? He sat down with the Kardashians and more famous faces from the world of unscripted television to get their unfiltered take on what makes the genre so addicting, especially when it comes to the Kardashians. Something E.T. unpacked a little too with the housewife's maestro. It was really cool going to the set of um, the Kardashians, mm -hmm. you know? It was wild. It was so surreal being in Chloe's backyard and seeing the candy jars, and they're all made up, and I just had to find out, like, how long they had all been in hair and makeup before yeah. they went over there, and um, it, was, it was wild. Say what you will about that family. I mean, the content, number one, that they've given us alone and the, the, the hustle that they've had and the empire that they've built. I mean, they could do college courses on them, seriously. What surprised you the most about Chris and the girls and kind of their journey? I think how involved they are. What we talked about, you know, we talked about how involved they are behind the scenes of the mm -hmm. show. They are sent rough cuts of every episode of the show and they all look at them and um, give notes on them. Mm -hmm. And it's it's really interesting. Uh, they, it's, they're not, they're partners. They're not, uh, they're not passive observers, mm -hmm. which is why I think the idea of Kris Jenner becoming a real housewife is actually inconceivable because you don't go from a show where you have all the power and final cut control, mm -hmm. you have control of what gets on the air, to an ensemble show where you're one of six women who just uh, goes in and films and that's it. You have no control. But she did say she would want to be a friend Right, and okay. then Kim said she would die to be on that show. And you couldn't pass that up. It's so true. <laughs> it's so true. Would you? I mean, are you? Oh, I mean, we've seen her on, but are yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, well, the great are thing you is open she's to having actually her more friends regular? with Kyle, and yeah. she's friends with Lisa Rinna, and she knows these women. So the answer is, yeah, I'd love it. Yeah. What about Kim? I mean, listen. <laughs> now you're 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 backing up the dump truck of money. I yeah, mean, that's so true. <laughs> that's true.